beautiful people of the internet. Welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are new here, my name is Caitlin and I am Nerd Alamode. I am so happy that you are here today. Today I wanted to uh, give you this look right here. It's pretty simple. This is nothing revolutionary. I'm not even wearing a lash and um, my brows are pretty light, but I actually like the way that this turned out. I feel like it turned out looking very natural. I didn't even contour today. I do not contour. Super simple, just get it on. I think this is perfect for a wedding. Um, I never wear a bold lip on a night out, but that's because I wanna be able to kiss. And, um, I always manage to mess up my lips, so, and also eat. Yaho loves to eat. So I always, always wear like a nude or a gloss or something like that on a night out. But if you like a bold lip on a night out, then this might just be for you. Um, ignore my hair, it's awful, but that's okay because we have a great attitude today and or I'm just gonna, you're gonna see me close up my naked face, RIP eyes, and um, as always, you should definitely subscribe to my channel. One of my goals this year is to grow my YouTube channel. I've done an abysmal job doing it so far, but that's gonna change because I know you, beautiful person, are going to subscribe. I just know it. I feel it in my soul. And, um, yeah. Obviously, with every makeup look, you can add steps, you can take steps away, you can do whatever you want with your own face. That's the beautiful thing about it. Also, um, I'm gonna be using the Jessica Rabbit highlighter in this again, some other products. Um, ColourPop No Filter, Milani Big Bronzer. You'll find out what my lipstick is. That sort of stuff, that's the reason that you should watch this video. Okay, this is the longest intro of life. All right, so I am starting out by looking like a sick child with influenza. Excellent. Victorian child with influenza, I should mention. My incredibly sexy little bun back here that's falling out as we speak. So I'm gonna use the e.l.f. Oil Control Primer Mist. Looks like this. I like the mist on that, but it definitely gets your hair, like face wet. I was about to say your hair wet. I mean, it is getting my hair wet, but maybe it'll make it look better. <laughs> As you can probably see in the background, I finally able to get my pole up so that will be in my videos I'm thinking about doing backdrops so I don't know let me know what you guys think about backdrops that part of me is like it's too impersonal like I want you to be able to like see where I'm at <laughs> or something but um the other part of me is like no like absolutely professional and then I wouldn't have a door and a pole in my background we'll see though also I just got my pot of gold palette from OMG on my glitter um, cosmetics I'm super excited I'm gonna do a product feature with it probably won't be until either the end of the month or beginning of next month because I just did a product feature on the um, Seattle London Jessica Rabbit collection. This is my Hard Candy Sheer Envy Stick It to Pores Primer Stick. I'm just taking this in my T zone. So because I'm not doing anything crazy on my eyes, I feel comfortable just going in with my foundation. I'm going to be using the ColourPop No Filter Foundation today. Oh, I hope that's focusing. 
and I hope that said color pop on it. But we'll see. And um, I don't know what kind of brush I want to use with it. Um, I'm thinking the Morphe Y7. No, it seems pretty good. So my thumb is broken. Great. Okay. So I'm sure you already seen my face from the intro of this video. This is very yellow. Um, but I'm really hoping that I'm gonna be able to do like a, I don't know, just really flawless skin, simple on the eyes, but bold lips. So we'll have to see. I actually accomplish that or not. shade light 45 which like I said for me is pretty yellow I have a very neutral undertone but I think it's looking okay once I'm buffing it out um, so basically when I use like a primer that's sticky and like meant to help adhere my makeup on like the hard candy one is I like to stipple it on rather than buff it. Um, next I'm going to go in with the BH Studio Pro Matte Finish Press Powder in the shade 205 and an EXO Beauty Powder Brush. So you guys have to let me know how the lighting is in this video because for me, I feel like it's dark, but I don't want to be blown out. And I also don't want to be too yellow, which I feel like my students can do. So you guys have to tell me. Today I want it very like, because I'm doing a bold lip, I want a very like glowy look to the skin. Um, and very kind of like springtime, summertime bronze. Um, so this is the Milani Baked Bronzer in 05 Soleil Baked Bronze. So um, I am going to, now that that's on, I'm going to use the Milani Baked Blush in 03 Berry and More. Um, Amore, Amore, I don't know. It's just this beautiful, like, everyday blush color for me. I'm using the Real Techniques Multitasking Brush. As you know, I like to put a little on my nose and a little bit on my chin just to help balance my face out. Also, for some reason, I've been feeling like my forehead's really big lately. I don't know why. So, to add a little bit more dimension back into my skin, I'm going to be going in with my Jessica Rabbit collection and Ciate London in Roger Darling. And I am going to be using... Where's my highlight brush? <laughs> This is the Morphe E61 
and I am going to just be hitting the high points of my face. I um I don't bring it all the way down um like onto my cheek. I just stick to my brow bone and my orbital bone. So you can see that's like really lovely and I am going to bring this up a little bit higher than I normally would. And then we should probably tackle the brows. So I'm going to be using the Pixi Natural Brow Duo in Natural Brown. It looks like this. I hope that's focusing. Probably not. That's my luck. I'm going to take the brow gel first because there is not a spoolie on here and the brow gel is just very, very, very lightly tinted. Um, and to be honest, I have had this for so long that I don't even remember if it comes lightly tinted or if mine is just that grubby. But I love this brow gel. It really, really sticks the hairs up. And then I'm going to go in with the product side, the pencil side. And just going to fill in the sparse areas of my brows. I've been getting them to look a little bit more even and natural lately, which for me is always the goal. So I'm definitely happy about that. And then I'm just going to, again, because there's no spoolie, I am going to hit this with another layer of the brow gel. And not only will this help blend the color through my brows, but it's also really gonna help like tack them down. Now that my brows are done, I'm gonna go in with the Rose in the Air from Wet n Wild. Um, I love this palette, it looks like this. Um, I've never had an Anastasia Beverly Hills um, palette before, but a lot of people have said that this rosé in the air palette is a lovely dupe for the modern renaissance again i cannot confirm or deny that <laughs> statement um but it wouldn't surprise me because they have a very a very similar color story um and a lot of very similar shades to them i think personally um so we are going to do a super simple eye. I'm going to take an EXO Beauty blending brush and I'm going to go in with the shade Transition up at the top. These do have a lot of kickback, but honestly, powdery eyeshadows, like I never understood the upset about them basically. Um, you know, maybe if you're using like a blue or a purple or a red or green or something like that that's going to be very detrimental to your makeup if you get fallout and you for some reason have to do your eyes first maybe that would be detrimental to you but if I am using any sort of color or glitter or anything like that I just do my eyes first and then I'll do my base I don't know. I mean, I guess in some respect, I understand it because people don't wanna have to like fuss with their palette. I'm gonna go in with this shade right here and that same brush and I'm just gonna use it to help me blend out the top part of the eyeshadow. And it's gonna help give me a little bit of extra coverage a very very thin skin I mean everybody has thin skin on their eyelids but I have a lot of veins too <sighs> and then just very simply I'm going to take this shade right here it's a shimmer shade and I'm going to take it on this 
Quill brush and I'm going to put it over my lid. And as you can see, I got fallout from that, so I'm just going to take my powder brush and I'm just going to dust that away. Make sure that looked real attractive. And I'm going to do the same thing to the other side. Now I am going to take a pencil brush from XO Beauty. I'm going to go back into that transition shade and just run it underneath my lash line. With this look, I'm not going to be doing lashes, but if you wanted to do lashes, I would definitely recommend doing something very, very... Um, flirty and wispy just something that's going to be I don't know I hate to use the word eye-catching but like think of it as like eye-catching for you like when you're like take it when you take a selfie of yourself you're like oh damn who's she you know when you like pass like a storefront or something like that you're like look at the lashes what I'm talking about eye catching. I'm going to blend the blush a little bit first. <laughs> um, I'm going to set my makeup. I forgot to get a setting spray. Hang on. I'm going to be using the CoverGirl Outlast Active Cooling Mist. Um, it says it locks makeup in place all day, seals your look, so it's smudge proof, transfer proof, and humidity proof all day. And it has a bunch of other claims. So. to spray my face before I do my mascara because I feel like it just gives it time to sit so I'm not like chilling doing nothing while my makeup is setting this is the covergirl exhibitionist mascara for me, um, I don't, I've never used Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara, but the wand looks almost identical to it. It's a natural bristle wand, which I find I like. It's a little bit of spidery, I'm not gonna lie. But I like it, I think. I'm also going to be doing a project pan update for you guys. Because I think that's important. My lips look awful and crusty. I'm going to be taking the Milani um, lipstick in 66 Matte Passion, and we're going to be putting it on, but I need to use my mirror, so excuse me. Alright guys, so this is the finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed this glowy tan skin, a bold lip, 
yellow polka dotted bikini. No. Shirt. <laughs> um, if you guys did enjoy this, then make sure to give it a big thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe to my channel so that you are notified every single time I post a makeup or a beauty related video. I love you guys so much and I will see you in my next video. That sounded awful. Bye! Ooh.